This is a review of the Spyderco Stretch FRN handles with bi-directional texturing. Gives you great purchase on the knife. Little history on the knife. It was designed by the owner of Spyderco, Sal Glesser. Um, not sure if you can see it, but there's these, uh, his maker's mark right there on the blade. Uh, it's between the Delica and the Endura in size and construction. It does have milled out stainless steel liners, the full length of the, uh, the grip or the handle, um, which saves on weight, comes in at 3.4 ounces, so fairly lightweight. Blade is made from Spyderco's typical VG10, their go-to steel, which is uh, an excellent steel I found for my use. It's a full flat grind, modified drop point, uh, so kind of a strange shape with this curve here. Uh, some people think it's ugly. I actually um, thought that at first too, but it's uh, it's definitely grown on me. And uh, I do prefer the looks of this, and I do prefer the function of that little uh, curve right there. Good belly to the knife. Good point. Uh, not too acute, so not too delicate. Uh, but uh, with this this curve right here, you can uh, you can really get a comfortable grip. If you use the finger choil for your index finger, you can get the thumb right here in this uh, in this groove, and it fits very nicely. You can uh, have some more control over your knife, or you can choke back, and all four fingers will fit very well on this grip um, behind the finger choil and uh, with the jimping on the thumb ramp there this knife's going nowhere it's got uh, a little wider portion right here um, wider than the Delicas and the Enduros it's got a, a pretty fat grip right here which uh, makes it a very very comfortable knife to hold it's very ergonomic fits very well in the hand lock back design with the David Boy dent um, this lock is placed a little further forward than the Delicas or the Enduras, um, so I don't feel it's quite as secure as those. Um, maybe it's just in my head. I don't get that satisfactory snap. You know, it's not quite as solid sounding as the Delicas or the Enduras, so maybe it's just the way it sounds, or maybe it's not quite as strong as they are, um, but for whatever reason, it is a little bit further forward um, than the other knives, and, uh, you know, take it or leave it. But uh, this is an excellent knife. And while it is between the Enduras and the Delicas in construction and materials, uh, it's not between them in price, unfortunately. Uh, the Enduras and the Delicas in the FRN handles, uh, you're going to find those for probably around $55. Uh, whereas this one, I paid, I think, $70 or $75. So it's a, it's a step up in price, even though the same material is and it's right between the two uh, in size, uh, you're going to pay a bit more for these, but if you don't mind paying that little bit extra, uh, it's an excellent offering. Pocket clip is reversible, left, right, up, down, a tip up, tip down. Uh, it's the painted hourglass. Uh, the paint will chip off, but uh, it's a nice strong pocket clip. So uh, if you don't mind the shallow finger choil, which isn't too much of an issue, um, or if you don't mind the steeper price, this is an excellent offering from Spyderco, uh, the Spyderco Stretch FRN.